All right, we're going to measure the voltage regulation of the IP27 here. Uh, it's an older Heathkit model, but uh, it is a regulated power supply. Very first thing, never trust our meters here. We're always going to try trust our multimeters because that's what we're going to be uh, standardized everything else off of. Max current on this thing is 1.5 amps, but that's only with the black voltage scales here, and we can select certain ranges. So. Depending upon where you're at in a range, you can go up to uh, 50 milliamps, 150 uh, if it's black, uh, red again, uh, 500 milliamps is the maximum there, and 1.5 amps on these lower black ranges. All right. You can adjust the current uh, capabilities, but I typically leave it at full so that way we uh, make sure we have everything. There's a standby mode, which means that once you turn it on, which is if a red light comes on, that nothing will come out. All we're going to do is start setting ranges and stuff like that. And you can kind of get things ahead of time. Until you hit this button to turn it on, nothing's going to come out. All right? So while it's on, it may not be applied. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the uh, maximum voltage. We're going to go all the way up here to the maximum voltage like this. That just shows a 40 to 50 volt range. Now remember that that range may be higher because of some other things that's going on within the system. So it may be a 55 or something like that. All right, we're going to come down like this, attach it directly into our multimeter yet again. This is on the 50 volt range. I'm because of where that's at. I'm going to pop it up to 150 volt range. Right, 150 volt range. That means everything down here is times 100. So I'm going to use this 1.5 volt range and I'm going to go ahead and use it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Notice how it flips way over past the 50. I'm going to go ahead and crank the maximum voltage all the way up. And as you see that this is now uh, in 150, it's actually showing 0.5 of that, which is 50 volts, 50 point about 6 volts. So 56 volts would be my maximum voltage on this power supply. If I want to know the minimum, what I'm going to do is take the, the range and bring it all the way down, all the way down, and crank this all the way down to the far uh, left. And I'm going to go ahead and now bring this scale down. One, two, three. And as we start seeing where this, I'm now on a five volt scale right there. See, five volts, which means that this is a times 10 range, which means it's a little bit less than one volt. I'm going to keep on going down one more scale just so I can get a better reading. Now I'm at 1.5 volt range, which is a one to one with this here. And it shows about 800 millivolts. 800 millivolts is where my minimum voltage is on this one here. All right, so I now have that. Now let's check the voltage regulation on this. Um, and what we're going to do again is set it to the same voltage that we had before for the other uh, voltage regulator, a volt on power supply. Shut off the applied voltage. Notice how that dropped there. We're safe to change this up. Again, I'm going to go ahead and bring over the resistor, attach one side in here, take the other side of the resistor, and attach it to this other side like this. All right. So again, I have the negative leads going to one side, the positive leads, just like I had before, to this other side. I am now going to go ahead, oh, first of all, oops. First of all, I jumped ahead of myself. I'm going to disconnect one side because that way it's out of the circuit. And just disconnect it. We need to set this to be the 20 volts. I'm going to come up to the 20 volt range. I'm going to turn on the power. Uh, come back up to this 50 volt range here. I should have done that in the first place. So at 50 volts, using the 0.5 volt range, that's times 100. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set this to 20 volts. And right now it's about 24. So I'm going to come over here and dial this down using this button. And dial it down. And I can't. It can't go any further. Okay. It can't go any further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down one scale. Notice how now I'm too low. And I'm going to go ahead and increase this up until I match my 20 volts. And there's my 20 volts. All right, so 20 volts. All I need to do now is shut this off. Okay, so it is now no longer applied. But the voltage setting is still there. And what I'm gonna do, now I'm gonna hook this back up. So now all I did was put this 
power supply in parallel with this resistance. So we actually have it as a series circuit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on right here. Just apply the power and let's watch where this power supply is going to go to. And it shows, look at that, about 20 volts. So it's slightly a little bit less. Just, I mean, maybe maybe fraction of a, of a volt if most, but really immeasurable for what we're doing. So really, this thing is actually holding the power, the voltage applied, whether or not we have a load on it or not, which is very important when we come to a power supply. Um, because that's something that you want to do is whenever you hook up a circuit, such as this one here, and you apply a voltage, you may want to check the, in the input voltage yet again, just to verify that um, the... Um, power applied, the voltage applied, is equal to what you had to preset. And that sometimes can be uh, really hard to, uh, to justify, uh, to look at and relook at knowing your power supplies, but it's always a good thing to do.